Mrs. Fry, I'm here to read you another book about snow. Very excited. Um, the book that we are going to read today is called Ab... Oh, sorry, I forgot to introduce you to a friend of mine. This is Sloth. Sloth is someone that I read to sometimes when um, I get kind of tired of reading by myself. And uh, Sloth is... Um, he was working on some sight words and the alphabet. And uh, yeah, so this is Sloth. Um, we're going to be reading a book called Avalanche. Um, and what Sloth is going to be doing is studying the alphabet, which is on the back of this book. Um, I wonder why the alphabet is on the back of this book. Anyway, um, Sloth is going to be studying the alphabet and we're going to be reading about Avalanche. Avalanche is written by Michael J. Rosen and is illustrated by David Butler. Once there was an avalanche that started out quite small. It all began when Bobby tossed a harmless looking ball. Dot, dot, dot. The snowball sailed across the yard and struck a cat food can. It caught the doghouse in its path as though it had a plan. The ball uprooted evergreens and widened, wobbled, fattened. It toppled someone's four foot fence which froze around it, flattened. The green's garage fell under next. Both cars were gone. What luck. And then the snowball overturned a giant garbage truck. Hey, what's the big idea? yelled Irene, the traffic cop. The icy orb absorbed her words, and no, it didn't stop. Lift off! The snow unearthed a jet and took it for a drive. The frosty kingdom touched the clouds that snowball was alive. It blotted up a lengthy lake, then smushed a mountain range. Next, each nation that the ball engulfed, it wholly rearranged. Oceans doused the growing globe and iced our total planet just like prehistoric times where glaciers overran it. The snowball flew through outer space where questions all retreat and bygone rainbows float along whose lives were short and sweet. The stars within the zodiac lit on the snowball's brow. And so did time, like then, someday, too late, so soon, and now. What else was left to feed the ball? It filled the universe. The only place that it could go was somewhere in reverse. And so the vacuum in the cosmos clutched this cold compound and then rewound it round itself and hurled it homeward bound. 
With every twist, something split off, returning to our world. Each question, ocean, lake, and jet, uncurled and downward swirled. X marked each spot where something stood before the snowball's theft, and each thing landed back in place. Or had it ever left? As for you, you might have seen, or maybe might have heard, the alphabet that's rolled inside this avalanche of words. When finally that small white ball descended to the snow, Zippy, Bobby's dog, he caught it. Gadzooks, what a throw. And that book is called Avalanche. Hmm. What? Yeah, I know, cue's hard. That's okay, just keep practicing.